we are back with another video. I'm Terry Hilton. And I'm Vila. And this is a reaction video for you guys on the latest and greatest topic. R&B King Debate. Okay. We got to get all into that. So, just for starters, how do you feel about that whole debate? Um... I wish we had the clip exactly of what he said, but from my understanding, he said in this era, he's the greatest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it was more like a right now, I, like, I feel like he was speaking in a moment like, this is just what it is, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the king like, he in like this moment. Like, he felt like time, now. you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's how everyone should feel. Now, the reaction. I felt like, okay, let's just keep it one thousand while. It shouldn't have took Jacquees to make that video for everybody to come out and act like they just the biggest fan of mm -hmm. R&B now. Like, what a love being because the genre is dying. It is. Like, you never hear any R&B music on the radio anywhere when you think about it. Like, well, let Jacquees go on off of his breakfast club. He hit himself right now on the radio. He did. He, said that. he, he said that. let everyone he know that. Hey, but you know what? I love your mm -hmm. confidence. Like, yeah, shout out to you. You got it. You got our support, okay? And you supposed to feel like a king like Diddy yeah. said. Everyone should have that concept of being a king or a queen. You supposed to be one. Yeah. Exactly. Now, uh, with this debate, I love it. I'm glad he started the controversy. And I hope that y'all follow his movement and yeah. the fan base because mm -hmm. of that. Because he got y'all talking. Because y'all definitely weren't doing that. Yep. Right now, I do feel like there is a great need for R&B because it I'm is. so tired of all of this. Like degrading women. I'm so, um, I ain't want to say it, but I'm, t I'm tired of all of this future that's going on. Yes. I don't like, like it. He has y'all men brainwashed where I think y'all can do anything, and, say anything, to no them in any kind of way. And it's just unacceptable. No shade to him, but it's a lot of guys out there like that like right mm -hmm. now. It is. And it's not okay. I mean... Don't get me wrong, everybody had their moment, but when it goes to feeling like that's just what the content is now because what you're putting out there is coming to life. We already know the lifestyle yeah. has been there. It's not going nowhere. But the way that it's just being promoted as the norm now, it ain't okay. We're getting away from the traditional things that got us here, yep. which is family, those type of values, yeah. uh, kids being able to grow up in a two-parent household. Yeah. Uh, guys, not you know, like it's the norm to have, I guess, multiple women now. It like is. it's cute. It's to have multiple like, it's cute. like baby mamas. That ain't cute. It's, it's cute not. to have multiple women when you single. I don't mind you doing your thing when you single. I just feel like you should do that anyway. Listen, you that's your own. You know what I'm saying? If you can, your own if, if you can support your own bad health, teach his own. <laughs> teach his so, own. So, what do y'all? What do you think solidifies you to be? The king of trying to getting away from me. You see that? Okay. Um, so I don't know. Did they hear you? Mm -hmm. I said, what? Do you, <laughs> what do you guys think solidifies you to be the king of R and B? Like, what? What do you have to? What time you? What you have to put in to be the king of R and B? Okay. So of course, I think time. Like, you have to earn respect. You have to earn respect of women, like That's anything the that, um, I mean, I know we were just saying, like, how everyone is just all about sex, smashing out, yeah. but you know, that good old R&B music back in the day, like, where like, made you feel like you wanted to get yes. married, yes. Yes. like, love. let's get married, let's get married, um, what's that, I wanna be your girl, what is it, oh, I need a girl, like, where is that music? Um, so yeah, that's what I think. Like, you gotta earn respect. And honestly, how many songs do Jacquees have that make a girl feel like that? Name one song. Please drop it in the comment section. And that's no shade. Cause you know what I'm saying? fans out there, don't. Come here with Shay. Yeah. I support him. I'm, I'm from Georgia, but yeah. I can't. But I just really place. wanna know. Like name one song. Please let me know. I get what you're saying. So she's saying like what song that he does he have where it's like 
make it a woman feel like she the woman, like she on top of the world. Yes, like, like his new song, You, I love it. I love it. But, I mean, he act like he don't want to put up with you. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'd rather be with you and all your It'll be it. Like, no. Like, why you want to be with me? Yeah. But you know what? That was just real. But I like the song. Though. Cause it's I do. I love it. It's true. I'd rather put it. Because that's real. Yeah. Put yourself in his shoes. I'd rather put it. I'd rather be with you and all your boo. So I feel like he's saying like, hey, I wouldn't rather put, I would rather put with your BS than I would with somebody with else. else. So. But, okay, so you know, that may be your one song right there. But I it's like, like I don't some, feel it in my soul, Jacqueline. He got some songs that really do hit me right here. I'm not going to lie. What? Uh, <laughs> where? <laughs> This whole discussion and debate kind of railed them back in to show like, hey, I, I know my roots. I know where I came from. I love the subliminal love and support yeah. that's been coming out. I love how we've been seeing other artists pay homage to other living legends yeah. like Ursha, yeah. Chris Brown. Okay, yeah. So name your top three or your five. Your top three. Go. Uh, give me top five. Okay. Of time with King of R&B and me. Like, can we go back? Can you go to the '90s until now, or later on to now? Or can I just read just all, R&B in general? Or can I just read y'all what I truly, how I really feel about this? Uh, uh-uh, cause you gotta read it. I'm gonna tell you my top. Off the dome, mm-hmm. right? Three or five. Off the Beam. dome. So, One, R. Kelly. Oh my God, like. Um, even though, you know, he do got some sexual music and I don't support nobody that do some of the stuff that he do. But y'all can't lie, like, give that man his credit. He made a woman feel good, even if she was young. You know, I don't know who he was singing to, but, um, R. Kelly, of course, Usher, like, that was my man when I was a little girl. Um, of course, you gotta give it to Chris Brown. Um, ooh, Neo, Sexy Love. Um, I love me some Miguel. I this, are you going somebody. number five? Where are you at? I don't even know what number that was. Okay, ain't no wrong with shining all the key. And y'all know I do love me some Trey songs. Okay, I agree with uh, everyone that she just named. Like, I think a lot of men should be up there as kings because if your music has affected me in some way, if it has really hit home into the heart, if it has really reached a woman, you are a king. 
of R and B. So that's what I really want y'all to leave with today because yeah. if your song has really reached a woman and made her feel some type of way, and not and not just like a hit and quit. You know what I'm saying? Not a hit and quit. We need. I want y'all to bring that back. We are in a time right now where we need it more than we ever. We do. We need to know that y'all love ever. us. You know what we I'm need saying? it more than ever. This is a cry for help, really. It is. It's a cry. This debate really just shine light on the cry for help because yeah. the generation we live in, it's crazy. It's toxic. It's cool when you out there and you and have a love. situation, yeah. having yeah. fun. But I really want to come home on some chill mess and just really relax and put me and my dude in the zone to be like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be like, okay, let's get it, honey. Right. No, no, I really want it to be something or, intimate and meaningful. Yes. It, it's just, it's just unacceptable, guys. So, please, all of our R&B legends out there, please come out. And you know, another thing I want to touch y'all, um, I think it was Bobby Valentine. Bobby V. I was just talking about it. Bobby V. said y'all just need a little bit to tour. tour. And and let's let's that tour like hold on y'all been late Lord, Lord, Lord gotta be on that too oh my god that's my Lord, Lord. 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 let me tell y'all something what I said earlier this goes back to what I was saying about if they're a king of R&B mm -hmm. R&B how it makes a woman feel I'm gonna say this just because I had a saying a saying to me one time that I was dealing with y'all I'm just saying this was a saying but if you really get somebody to get in your ear, and they can see, and it make you woo, have them kill, you the king. You the king. That's just what it really is. I just had to say that. That's all. But another <laughs> person that I really like is Luke James. Like, I Luke really, James. I really like him. And, and what y'all not gonna do is ignore my boy Bryson. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I forgot about him. But he's trap song. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Okay, girl. <laughs> but see, that's a whole other thing. What like, trap song? Like, like how y'all was talking about R and B. Like, but how you talking about earlier music. how music is the music that we hear on the radio now? R and B is just kind of like trap soul. Yeah, R and B. Yeah, yeah. Like, I agree. So I like that alternative type R and B. Yeah, yeah. I just think it's a beautiful thing that is just having light shed on it right now in this moment because like I said, it's a we're living in a moment now where What about Jack the Edge? How can we forget yeah. about Jack the Edge? I saw that far You got so many good years. Mary, Mary, like Frank Ocean, yes, Frank Jodice, Joe D'Angelo, D'Angelo, Casey and JoJo. Even Kim, like, even Jamie Foxx. Next. <laughs>
Levi. I don't oh. know if y'all really, but like, he had good songs yeah. too. I'm trying yeah. to think of the home, y'all. I don't know. Anyway, it's so it's many. It's so many kings out there. Well, I mean, it's a lot of princes out there. It's some princes. But, uh, let's princes. give Jacquees the prince then. Prince of honor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Jacquees, we, we got, challenge you this. You still got some time to We grow. challenge you this. We really want you to grow into this king thing, but can you just cater to us swimming a little bit more? Yeah. I hate the backtrack, but we really forgot an important person. Who? Genuine. <gasps> Genuine. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We sleep tonight. Yeah, we slept on that one. But you know what? I'm going to tell you what. I ain't, I ain't going to start nothing. But you know, I'm not even going to say that he a king either, though. Why? He a prince. And I'm going to I don't want to throw this little um story out there. But he was popping for a little moment. Nah, but. <laughs> what, you think you gave us? No. no, no. But, um. <laughs> and so, at the end of the day, you know. Everyone is gonna have a different king okay. or prince or whatever. It's just, John, please, you know, thank you for starting this. It was needed. It, it was needed. It, it woke a lot of people up. And you are a king for this, know that. Yeah. Because it started a conversation that is needed. This is a dying genre. People are neglecting it. Mm -hmm. It's not, I guess, the money isn't there like it used to be, but it can be there. Let's support R&B. Because we like, need it. We need it. We want to feel love. I don't care what no female tell you. Yeah, she like to be lit, but at the end of the day, R&B is what's important. That's what's going to put her to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. She tried to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what's going to put her to sleep. Sleep, yeah. sleep. I'm <laughs> okay, y'all get what I'm trying to say. Jay Holiday with the Gucci jacket on. Like, do I look like that lady? <laughs> but, you know, thank you guys for watching. Thank Hit you. the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Sarah Tilton. Be love. <laughs> Look, leave feedback. Okay, leave feedback. Let us know what else you like for us to yeah. chat it up about. Any challenges, anything that you want to see us do, please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, see ya. Mwah.